We wish to speak to you at this time about light and love. Many of you light warriors sign yourselves off with this phrase, light and love. And some of you have forgotten the import of these two frequencies. For both light and love are frequencies which are held within the interdimensional planes. And also, yes, at this time on your planet. Light and love frequencies are always available, but you must choose to tap into them in order to use them and be of service in this way. The energy of light is that which has as its opposition the dark and all of you understand that in polarity and in duality there is this juxtaposition of light and dark within all things. On your earth plane there is not one which naturally holds sway over your population over your civilizations. There is always both and you must choose which one will rule your civilization now. It is also that at this time you have stepped over that edge into the new age. At this time in the 26,000 year cycle, that which is the precession of the equinoxes. You have been in transition some time now, between the age of Pisces and the age of Aquarius. But now you have truly stepped in to the Aquarian frequencies in which freedom will rule. And thus you see all around you your peoples standing up against those who would hold them in bondage. For freedom is your birthright and you will have it now as you are assisted by the light frequencies from many star nations. And so, although it has been a battle to stay in the light and focus on the light, when so much dark has been perceived in your body, in your life and on the earth plane, but it is now more easy than ever before to absorb the light frequencies because you are at this time in which light must hold sway. You are entering the age of light and we are here to tell you that it is not a future event that it has arrived already. We speak also now of the love frequency. Love frequency emits from the great central sun, from the source of all that is, that which you call the God Goddess, Mother Father God love energy from Mother Father God rains always down into your realm and you can tune into this love frequency only through opening your hearts 
It is not possible with your minds only. And there are some of you who work diligently with methods such as affirmations, attempting to change negative patterning and ways of thinking. And we say to you that although this is beneficial, it is easier than you think to tap in to the frequencies of love. This is the time on the earth plane when your hearts naturally open and when you remember how to breathe through your prana tubes that you may consciously access the energies of heaven and Gaia. And it is this way of breathing through your prana tube that activates your heart centers. It is now the time of the one heart. The one heart is the combining of anahata, the personal heart, with the higher or sacred heart, that which has been hidden in the age of Pisces. For it is this aspect of higher heart which allows you to connect with all others through the love frequency. It is now a time when this aspect of higher heart is combined with your personal heart into the one heart. And the one heart is that which allows you to tune in to the love frequency of Mother, Father, God. This is simple and joyful and more important on your spiritual paths and awakening than anything else. We have enjoyed speaking with you on this crystalline day. We bring the crystalline frequencies back into your world, assisting when you call upon us to do so. Namaste. Namaste, my dear tribe from New York. My great love is with you. And my fingers and nose and ears are icicles. <laughs> I will be reporting soon from California. Namaste.